Now, this question reads as the coefficients of iodide, iodate, and proton in the redox equation. They have given this equation. Iodide is I minus, I minus plus IO3 minus plus H plus proton in acid medium. Giving I2 plus H2O. I2 plus H2O in the balanced, so the coefficients, it is not balanced. Here, the three oxygen atoms are there in the reactant side, only one oxygen. It is not balanced, but products and reactants are having some fixed proportion. So, the compounds are specified. You can recall, this is IODIDE iodide. This species is IODATE iodate. This one proton. So, iodide reacting with iodate in the presence of acid releases iodine. So, here we have to identify the coefficients or there are given different choices given. 5, 1, 6, 1, 5, 6, 6, 1, 5 and 615 and next one is 561 615 and 561 so there are two methods to solve this either by I have a method any of the method you can solve or you can check by even trial and error method direct question so first one 5 iodide so the given stoichiometric coefficients means they are in order. 5 iodide, 1 iodate and 6 H plus. We have to balance. So 5 iodine plus iodine, 6 iodine. 6 iodine here product side 3 iodine molecules are formed. So 6 H plus or 6 hydrogen atoms are converted to 3 hydrogen atoms. 3 without Affecting oxygen. So, 3 oxygen, 6 hydrogen atoms are formed. Now, this is the balanced equation for the system. That is, 5 moles of iodide combined with 1 mole of iodate in the presence of 6 protons or in acid medium to release 3 moles of iodine and 3 moles of water. So, here they have given the stoichiometric coefficients of the reactants. 5, 1, 6, 5. This one is only 1, 5, 1, 6. So, these are this. So, this selects the correct choice. First choice itself finishes the thing. There is also this the same equation can be written in the presence of electron. So, instead of uh, iodide anion, we can use electron because any redox reaction, redox phenomenon involves only transfer of electrons. So, I minus plus IO3 minus plus H plus plus electron giving I2 plus water. So, here 1 iodine, 2 iodine, 2 iodine it is getting balanced. 3 oxygen atoms, you have to put 3 oxygen atoms. But 6 hydrogen atoms, 6 H plus. Now, we got the balance for the charges. So, so the method involves first uh, balancing for the masses, elements on either side. Then balancing for the charges. So, reactant charges, here 6 proton means 6 plus, 1 iodide means minus 1, 1 iodide minus 1, 6 minus 1 minus 2, 4 plus charge on 1 electron is minus 1. How many electrons we don't know, you can equate for cons. So, x minus uh, 4 minus x equal to 0 or x minus 4 equal to 0 which means that 4 electrons are involved in this transfer. So, the same redox uh, equation can be done in the presence of electron. As a, actually, it is second one goes together with the electronic theory of valency. Electronic theory. So, redox phenomenon is explained only in the basis of based on 
electron is the addition of electron or removal of electron. So here electron. Otherwise the charge is taken into account for mass in the first equation. So there are two choices for this equation. So just for understanding purpose second equation is discussed. So the actual question is first one. So there are two ways either balancing or checking the given data for the correct choice. So this finishes that choice A is the correct choice for the current question. Now next question reads in acid medium hydrogen peroxide changes dichromate to chromium pentoxide with the so the reaction is in acid medium hydrogen peroxide formula is H2O2. H2O2 changes changes means Cr2O7 2 minus is converted to CrO5 chromium pentoxide they have given along with which has peroxide linkage or this linkage oxygen oxygen linkage this is called perox per per means one in excess oxide means only one oxygen peroxide means one more oxygen so there are two oxygen atoms in the of this type of linkage perox this linkage is called peroxide linkage or peroxide bonds so the question reads in acid medium in acid medium hydrogen peroxide changes dichromate to chromium pentoxide having oxygen oxygen peroxide linkages then the oxidation state of chromium in chromium pentoxide is so oxidation state of chromium in chromium pentoxide CrO5 is there are different choices given 5, 3, 6, minus 10. So chromium salts or chromium compounds are always used as the oxidizing agents. So it will have higher oxidation state or positive oxidation state that is to be noted. So higher oxidation, so minus 10 is ruled out. So actually this question is a collection of different D block elements as well as redox equation. Chromium is a D block element. So, chromium pentoxide structure to be noted in this form. Chromium in this form. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. So, this is the connection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 oxygen, only 1 chromium. So, it has been told that it contains oxygen oxygen linkages. Oxygen 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 linkages are there. Oxygen oxygen linkages are there. So, here we have to see. So, what is the state? So, from this you can directly study how many shared electrons or how many. This is the oxidation state. So, here oxidation state and valency go together. Generally oxidation state need not be equal to valency. Here oxidation state and valency is nothing but combining capacity. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So valency of 6. Generally CR6 plus is the most stable. Valency of 6 is observed in this reaction also. Oxidation state is also 6. Valency is also 6 for Chromium. So for this choice, the for this question, correct choice is C, which has the valency of 6. Now this finishes the treatment. Actually this question is a collective arrangement of D block elements as well as redox equation. D block elements are its compounds. Chromium is the D block element. Chromium pentoxide is the compound of chromium or oxide of chromium. Now, this question reads as the pair of compounds that can exist together is there are four pairs given. Let us write the first four pairs as A, B, C and D. The four pairs are FeCl3 and SnCl2 that is ferric chloride and stannous chloride 
and Hg2Cl2 and SnCl2 mercurous chloride and stannous chloride third choice FeCl2 ferrous chloride and stannous chloride fourth choice ferric chloride and potassium iodide so the question is that the pair of compounds that can exist together exist together means without reaction they should exist together whenever there is a change in oxidation state of the metal between the two compounds all are chlorides i mean all are chlorides iron chloride tin chloride mercury chloride, mercury chloride like that also this one is halide so either chlorides or halides potassium iodide so all are halides so they are given in the form of pairs ferric chloride tin chloride mercury chloride tin chloride ferrous chloride tin chloride ferric chloride and potassium iodide the question asked is the pair of compounds that can exist together which pair of when the pair can exist what is meant by existing together existing together means without undergoing chemical change if there is a chemical change it will be converted they will not exist exist together for that the oxidation states should be same for both the metals both the compounds the metal oxidation states should be same if there is same oxidation state none of them will undergo oxidation or reduction if there is a difference in oxidation whenever so whenever there is a difference in level there are two levels in water means water flows from higher level to lower level when there is a change in oxidation state electron flows from higher oxidation state to lower oxidation state as the case may be so at least one process will be spontaneous it is a redox phenomenon one process will be definitely taking place so if the uh, systems are having same oxidation state that system will not undergo redox reaction if it does not undergo redox reaction it will exist together that is the idea so we have to identify so chlorine is a chlor any halogen is minus 1 we have said oxidation number of halogen halogens are the most electronegative halogens attract one electron to form halide anion so 3 cl minus minus 3 iron oxidation state is plus 3 plus 3 minus 3 equal to 0 so 2 cl minus minus 2 here plus 2 here iron is in the higher oxidation state tin is in the lower oxidation state so there is a possibility of transfer of electrons from iron to tin iron to tin or sorry you can see the common thing current current flow charge and current flow in from one direction to other direction when there is a change in charges charges flow as the case may be here tin chloride just now we have seen hg2cl2 here hg2cl2 2cl2hg so it is plus 1 so the question may arise hg2cl2 hg we don't know 2x minus 2 cl is minus 1 there are 2 cl so 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2x minus 2 equal 0 or x equal to 1 so here also mercury valency mercurous chloride here plus 2 plus 2 so 2 cl here plus 3 plus 1 so accepting the third choice all other choices have different oxidation states 3 and 2 1 and 2 3 and 1 so when there is a change in oxidation state there is a possibility of redox reaction if there is a possibility of redox reaction such a pair cannot exist together only the choice 3 where so electrons can never flow from the same state so electrons or charge cannot flow from same state even you can tell higher oxidation state is source as oxidizing agent lower oxidation state serves as reducing agent here same oxidation state it will not serve neither as oxidizing agent nor reducing agent the system will not undergo any reaction so it they exist together so choice c is the correct answer 
let me repeat which of the following pairs will exist together ferrous chloride and tin chloride pairs so that is to be noted this finishes the current question now this question reads as similar type of sum we have done for manganese and you know manganese is a metal this question is based on a non metallic species so in which of the following compounds nitrogen exhibits highest oxidation state a similar question has already been discussed but for metallic elements here the question is of for non metallic elements so in which of the following compounds nitrogen exhibits highest that is maximum oxidation state four compounds are given a this compound is called hydrazine n2h nh2 twice or n2h4 b is ammonia b is ammonia nh3 c is it is given we are writing what is given in the question as such it is given as n3h it is hydrogen azide actually it has to be written as hn3 so n3h so it is not a hydrate so n3h and nh2 oh so i see hydroxyl amine so we got to see the oxidation state now in these compounds a hydrogen is connected to different elements such as oxygen or nitrogen whatever be the case all are non metallic elements so all non metallic elements generally they are more electronegative than hydrogen more electronegative than hydrogen means hydrogen will have oxidation state of only positive so oxidation state of hydrogen is plus 1 that is to be noted that of oxygen is minus 2 with the usual notations we have to find the oxidation state of nitrogen in all these compounds question asked is highest oxy which is the species with highest oxidation state for nitrogen that is the question for the first one this compound is called hydrazine so let us assume x is the oxidation state of nitrogen in these compounds one by one let us evaluate here for the first choice 2 into nitrogen x plus 4 into hydrogen 1 hydrogen oxidation state is 1 so 2x plus 4 equal 0 or 2x equal to minus 4 x equal to minus 2 so oxidation state of nitrogen is minus 2 here here nh3 nh3 means x plus 3 into hydrogen 1 0 x plus 3 equal 0 or x equal to minus 3 x so the idea is nitrogen is more electronegative that is why it is getting oxidation states but here also actually it has to be written as hn3 hydrogen azide a uh, hydrogen azide what are be the case let us we know that out of this hydrogen is electro positive nitrogen is electro negative that's all so we don't know 3x so three nitrogens are there its oxidation state is x 3x plus only one hydrogen whose oxidation state is 1 plus 1 so 3x plus 1 equals 0 or x equal to minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 lastly for hydroxyl amine let us calculate that is x plus 2 into 1 plus oxygen it is minus 2 plus for hydrogen it is once again 1 equal to 0 x plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 equal to 0 x plus 1 equal 0 or x equal to minus 1 so oxidation state is here it is minus 1 here it is minus 1 by 3 here it is minus 3 here it is minus 2 question is which is the highest oxidation state you should not be fed up with the numerical values so out of the negative numbers smallest magnitude is the highest so minus 1 by 3 is the Smallest, or in other words, in number A, minus one by three is nearer to zero. Nearer to zero. So the highest oxidation state compound is hydrogen azide. So yeah, NH three 
choice 3 uh, C is the correct choice for this question. So out of the four compounds namely hydrazine, ammonia, hydrogen azide and hydroxylamine only in hydrazine, hydrogen azide, hydrogen azide, nitrogen shows the maximum oxidation state.